Hey, it's Jorge from Team JBS, giving you a world premiere Fantastic Feast 2021 exclusive, Let the Wrong One In. This film stars Anthony Head, who you should know from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, this movie was just phenomenal. I'm just going to start off and, and saying that it was just such a fun movie. Um, I'm going to read you the synopsis real quick and then kind of go right into it. So Let the Wrong Ones In follows a young supermarket, supermarket worker, Matt, who is a little too nice for his own good. When he discovers that his older estranged brother, Deco, has turned into a vampire, he is faced with a dilemma. Will he risk his own life to help his sibling with blood being thicker than water? Or will he stake him before he spreads this infection further? So... <laughs> This film, if if you like Shaun of the Dead or any type, you know, like the the World's End, you know, any any type of those type of films that are just hilarious horror films, I guess it's kind of the the nicest way I can put it. You're gonna love this film. the um, The amount of blood and and just comedic moments in this movie are hilarious. Um, the cast in this movie was also fantastic. Um, you know, everyone in it just played such a such a great part. Um, being able to see, uh, you know, Anthony Head. I was a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know, growing up. Um, and seeing him, it, this is almost what I feel he would have become, <laughs> you know, in, in real life. Um, so going through this movie, you kind of see this struggle that uh obviously matt has with his brother uh and it's just it's really neat just kind of seeing what you would do in this like vampirous situation um i will say some of the uh some of the scenes where were animal not animals but like people are getting hurt or the vampires are like biting other vampires the amount of gore that's in it it's it, it's hilarious like it is like if you go to excessive and then like click it up a couple notches. Um, I was cracking up throughout this whole movie. Um, there's a there's a couple scenes, especially uh, near the end, when you know Anthony's head character is trying to teach Matt how to kind of become like a vampire hunter, which was hilarious seeing how that whole scene unfolded and and just how just the abilities that Matt has. I'll, I'll leave it at that. But overall, this is a 100% laugh out loud movie. Um, you will love it. Um, if you like that type of humor, I was I, I was in stitches. Like th this movie was amazing. Definitely a great way to start uh, Fantastic Feast uh, 2021. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing more from from everyone on here, uh, this is uh, Dark Sky Films, I believe is the one who who's doing, who did the world premiere on this. But definitely, if you can see this movie or catch this movie when it comes out, watch it. Um, I guarantee you'll be cracking up. Uh, if I had to rank this movie easily, you know, 8.5 out of 10, just for the replay value, the amount of laughters that it gave me. This one, it was awesome, just, you know, Two, two super thumbs up. Um, but other than that, definitely let me know what you think. Uh, when you do see it, let me know if you're looking forward to seeing this. If there's anything else from Fantastic Feast that you guys you know want us to cover, let us know. But as always, smash that like button, drop a comment or two. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.